Mercy Swims to Us Through Christ's Blood by Thomas Watson. Every link in the golden chain of salvation is wrought and interwoven with free grace. God's love is free. I will love them freely. Hosea 14, verse 4. Election is free. He has chosen us in Him according to the good pleasure of His will. Ephesians 1, verse 5. Justification is free. Being justified freely by His grace. Romans 3, verse 24. God's saving mercy is free and spontaneous. To set up merit is to destroy mercy. We do not deserve mercy because of our enmity. We may force God to punish us, but not to love us. If God would show mercy only to such as deserve it, He would show mercy to none. Mercy is an innate propensity in God to do good to distressed sinners. Mercy proceeds primarily and originally from God. He is called the Father of mercies. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3 God's saving mercy is powerful. How powerful is that mercy which softens a heart of stone? Mercy changed Mary Magdalene's heart out of whom seven devils were cast. She who was an inflexible adamant was made a weeping penitent. God's mercy works sweetly, yet irresistibly. It allures, yet conquers. The law may terrify, but mercy mollifies. Of what sovereign power and efficacy is that mercy which subdues the pride and enmity of the heart and beats off those chains of sin in which the soul is held. God's mercy is superabundant. The Lord has treasures of mercy in store, and therefore is said to be plenteous in mercy, Psalm 86, verse 5, and rich in mercy, Ephesians 2, verse 4. The vial of God's wrath only drops, but the fountain of his mercy runs. The sun is not so full of light as God is of mercy. His mercy is overflowing and ever flowing. His mercy is infinite, without bounds and without end. His mercy endures forever. Psalm 136. Every time we draw our breath, We suck in mercy. We are all living monuments of God's mercy. He shows mercy to us in daily supplying us. He supplies us with health. Health is the sauce which makes life sweeter. How those who are chained to a sickbed would prize this mercy. God supplies us with provisions. God who fed me all my life long. Genesis 48, verse 15. Mercy spreads our tables and carves for us every bit of bread we eat. We never drink but in the golden cup of mercy. God shows mercy in restraining us from sin. Lusts within are worse than lions without. The greatest sign of God's anger is to give men up to their sins. So I gave them up to their own heart's lust. Psalm 81, verse 12. While the ungodly sin themselves to hell, God has laid the bridle of restraining grace upon us. As God said to Abimelech, I withheld you from sinning against me. Genesis 20, verse 6. Just so, God has withheld us from those sins which might have made us a prey to Satan and a terror to ourselves. God shows mercy in guiding and directing us. He guides our affairs for us, 
and chalks out the way he would have us to walk. You shall guide me with your counsel. Psalm 73, verse 24. God leads us with the oracles of his word and the guidance of his spirit. He guides our heads to keep us from error, and he guides our feet to keep us from scandal. Oh, what mercy it is to have God to be our guide and pilot. God shows mercy in correcting us. He is angry in love. He smites that he may save. His rod is not a rod of iron to break us, but a fatherly rod to humble us. God disciplines us for our good, that we may share in his holiness. Hebrews 12, verse 10. In our afflictions, God will mortify some corruption or exercise some grace. God shows mercy in saving us. According to his mercy, he saved us. Titus 3, verse 5. This is the top stone of mercy. Here, mercy displays itself in all its orient colors. Mercy is mercy indeed when God perfectly refines us from all the lees and dregs of corruption. When our bodies are made like Christ's glorious body, and our souls like the angels. Saving mercy is crowning mercy. It is not merely to be freed from hell, but enthroned in a kingdom. What rich mercy will it be to fully possess God, to see his smiling face, and to lay in his bosom forever? This will fill us with a glorious, inexpressible joy. 1 Peter 1, verse 8. God's saving mercy is the diamond in the ring. Mercy more overflows in God than sin in us. His mercy can drown great sins as the sea covers great rocks. Christ's blood is a fountain to cleanse them from all their sins and defilement. Zechariah 13, verse 1. Some of the Jews who had their hands imbrued in Christ's blood were saved by that blood. God loves to magnify his mercy and display the trophies of free grace. How may I know that my sins are pardoned? Whenever God removes the guilt of sin, he breaks the power of sin. He will have compassion. He will subdue our iniquities. Micah 7, verse 19. With pardoning love, God gives subduing grace. If we would have saving mercy, it must be through Christ. Outside of Christ, there is no saving mercy. We read in the old law that none might come into the Holy of Holies where the mercy seat stood, but the high priest. This signifies that we have nothing to do with mercy, but through Christ, our high priest. That the high priest might not come near the mercy seat without blood is to show that we have no right to mercy, but through the expiatory sacrifice of Christ's blood. Leviticus 16, verse 14. If we would have mercy, we must be in Christ. Mercy swims to us through Christ's blood.